Something I'm not gonna feel too like, oh, my boobs are hanging out everywhere. Having big boobs, it is a, uh, it's a struggle, it's real. What number are my boobs? 11. <laughs> Went from a 36B to a 36 double D. No, there's a 90% chance that you will not be leaving here with a dress. Um, my boobs are out. <laughs> Number four, confused Caitlin. Caitlin is our confused bride who is battling on multiple fronts. Finding a dress to Caitlin's exacting standards is going to be a challenge Melissa has accepted with immense courage, and she does not intend to fail for the first time on the job. I'm looking for Caitlin. That's me! Do you have some ideas of what you're looking for? I'm looking for a more form-fitted, just a little something to show off. And when are you getting married? Getting married in five months. As soon. We do need to have something, preferably today. Uh-huh. Our bride wants a dress centered on displaying her hanging bust line. Caitlin is a proud mama to two beautiful twins, literally worth their weight in gold, and she has no plans to keep them hidden. This bride's demands require a custom design, but a short deadline has left this party no choice but to grab something off the rack. The salon is bourgeoning with beauties in all cuts, sizes, and designs. But looking for a dress to match this bountiful bust line is going to be a Herculean task. Never mind, because we need to be able to buy it and wear it. I love, love, love this lace. That's, uh, that's not going to work because that's a size 20. Ugh. Turn around and take a look, hon. Oh. Our samples are made for B cup. And you have told me that you are not a B cup. Is there something you want to show your family? I do want to show my family. Like, I really don't even feel like the boobs are that, that bad in it. Speechless. And not in a good way. With no time to lose, the bride and her entourage are speeding through rack after rack for beautiful creations with no luck. This bride is forced to contemplate going all naturel, but Melissa is determined to get her out of dire straits, and she has the perfect piece for this bride. Caitlin might just have to live with whatever is available since her bust line is in conflict with her idea of a perfect dress, and it's bringing tears to her eyes. Dress that just has more room. So, everybody cross your fingers. They're actually preventing the wedding from possibly taking place. What we need. Um, I like the color. I like the lace. I don't think I like this aspect of it. I love the yeah. very boxy. It's very unflattering. It doesn't augment her shape. Now that you're busty, it can tend to make you look heavier. Let's go on back to our room. This bride and her party are not willing to compromise on her dream bridal gown, and it's back to the dressing room for her and her stylist. This bridal party is in danger of going home without a dress, but that ain't happening under Lori's watch. She is the answer to Caitlin's prayers. In no time at all, she has the bride kitted out in a dress doing perfect justice to her heavy investment. And she is over the moon with ecstasy. Oh my god. That's beautiful. We've got a big smile on this one. I'm Woo, baby! We're supposed to happen! <laughs> I think your boobs look good on it. So beautiful. Oh my god. I just love it. I'm just so happy. Caitlin, are you saying yes to the dress? I am saying yes to the dress. <laughs> Number three, night and day. Amber and Ajishia are a match made in heaven having their first wedding clash. Amber has plans for a beach wedding with a pink and flowy strapless number for her bridesmaids. Ajishia is all smiles and unhindered support, but this party is coming to a premature close and it's the curse of the cleavage to blame. Who is the bride? Both of you guys? Yep. Okay, or girls. <laughs> this is my fiance, Ajisha. This is Daisy, my cousin, Jessica, my bridesmaid, and Lee, my maid of honor, peachy pink, chiffon, strapless. I don't think it's possible to do strapless. We can... You want to see strap? Jessica and Ajisha are at opposite ends of the pole in terms of how to treat a well endowed bust line. This is going to be my booby control meter. One to ten. Ten being too much. This is everyday attire. See why I can't rock them at your wedding. Ajishia wants the girls hidden and protected by strap support, whereas Jessica wants to put her twins on spectacular display, rocking her look with what God gifted her a plenty. I have my boobometer. Oh, that's a boobometer? Yes. I love it. We're looking for a seven. That's ideal. I said I want strapless. Jessica, come on out. Whoa. The sweetheart neckline. That's not classy at all. I 
I like it. It's off the charts as far as the boobometer. <laughs> it almost broke. <laughs> I actually like it. It seems Amber and Ajishia have been booby-trapped into a disagreement, and only time will tell who will be knocked out. This bridal dress is heading for a bombing over bazookas, and Lori and her sidekick are getting singed. But we could probably make some adjustments. I love it. So this, this is my Sunday cleavage, and then this is my Saturday cleavage. <laughs> Another disaster is averted by our styling specialists, but Jessica is all about freedom of expression and there ain't no muscling her babies. Do you want the breasts to look like Saturday or Sunday? Sunday morning. I know, but I don't want ugly bridesmaids dresses. You want all the attention on you anyway. We gotta put her in something more covered. Oh my oh God. Lee's dress, a little overboard. Definitely a 10. Double Trouble has reached Chinatown, but this posse is finally showing a united front. Daisy got a perfect seven. That is working. Jessica, what do you think about Daisy's dress? I actually do like it. That is everybody agree on a dress, which I thought would never happen. They gotta be able to dance in the dress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a song. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Number two, Busty and Beautiful. Valerie is a busty beauty troubled by nightmares with her boobs taking first seat. This prima donna has dreams of a fun and flirtatious wedding, except with gothic chic. Oh, it's so, so fancy. fancy. Hi, I'm Paula. Hi, Paula. Nice to meet you. <laughs> this is going to be a fun appointment. Tell me what you're looking for. Definitely, I would, my preference is something that's black. Something I'm not going to feel too like, oh, my boobs are hanging out everywhere. The wedding is fabulous and lace and gothic and just us, basically. Our bride-to-be is one of a kind with tastes to match and she has serious doubts about whether our stylist Paula will be able to deliver on her dreams. Meanwhile, Paula is our bride stylist worth her weight in gold and knows that this dress fitting will be an exercise in thinking outside the box. She has hit this ball out of the ballpark by offering Valerie to order any gown of her liking in black as desired. But this blonde beauty has a few blush and white creations to tolerate in this search first. Dress number one is flattering the bride's contours with a good look, but good is not good enough for our bride with some pretty high standards. Now, both of these dresses I cannot order in black. But once she puts on something that's white or ivory, she may change her mind. Can I come in, Valerie? Of course. Hi, hi, hi. Having big boobs, it is a... Uh, it, the struggle is real. <laughs> okay, step up, Valerie. I like the silhouette. We can get this dress in, dress in blush, and we can get it in black. It would... Darling? Looks good. Looks good. That's all you have to say. <laughs> like I said, it's good. I bet that's lovely. There's You're better. looking for fierce. Let's see what good else we can come enough. up with. No, good is not good enough. Feisty Valerie is feeling fabulous in the second dress, and Dean's dithering is setting her on edge. Valerie has this guy firmly in her corner, and it's obvious who wears the pants in this relationship, only more sweetly. This dress might be perfect. Valerie? Yes, ma'am? Everything you were asking me for, really. Yeah, just beautiful. not in black. I have been insistent since day one. I want something black, I want something black, I want something black. All right, why okay. not? Let's do what it. What could possibly go wrong? I would be like, I would just walk around like this all day and be like, okay. wait, let me just... And we could fill in just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, because I don't want us to be like, no. Budge, 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 budge. no. I don't want that. Oh. Ooh. Mm. Ba, ba, Look That's at Valerie. awesome. I love the cleavage. Uh, you know, I, I... She's stunning. Body looks good in it. This is a contender. Okay, all right. I'm gonna try on another dress. This is just, I mean, this is it. It's not gonna get any better than this. This beautiful bride with a larger-than-life personality has found the perfect dress to set off her voluminous waist by balancing it with delicacy. Yeah, I don't need As to try know. anything else on. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. Did yeah. you want to talk to Dean? Did Let you want to talk to Dean. I need to borrow you. Me? Yeah, I just think it's perfect for she her. She wants to. Yeah. So, I just want your opinion. Do you like it? I love it. Do you? Yeah. Because I don't really feel like trying on a bunch of other dresses. No. Because this is pretty, I don't think it's going to get any better than this. I think you look great in it. All right, thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. She looks so fabulous. She looks amazing. All right, let's do the big unveil now. Let's. Well, tickle me pink and call me Rhonda. Are Madam. you saying yes to the dress? I'm saying <laughs> yes to this dress. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Number one, classy babe. Georgina is a hopeful bride who has big plans for her wedding dress, and she has come to Kim to turn them into reality. 
She has very clear ideas about what she wants from a bridal dress, which is to reflect her quirky personality with the appropriate amount of support for her ample curves. The only thing I would say about it mm. is that yeah. I don't know if it's going to hold my boobs in place. Do we like strapless? I'm mm. very happy to try strapless. What sort of shape? Do you know what, actually, I would like to try each shape on. Oh, so I'm quite open to these guys' ideas. Sparkles, <laughs> lace. Sparkles, lace, happy with all of that. This is a very wide uh, room. Yeah. Yeah. I would just like just a one-off princess style, just to try a bit and see how that looks. It's all about the dress. It's all about the dress, but within reason. She wants to achieve a perfect balance between sass and pizzazz, because she's classy like that. This bride is battling self-consciousness brought on by her boobalicious body and is trying to blend her bazookas into the background instead of standing out proudly to the crowd like the stars they are. There is going to be only one star on this stage and she has no plans of those two overshadowing her personality. Having an unlimited budget is music to stylist Kim's ears and she is ready to bring out the big guns to achieve the leading lady's satisfaction. I'm looking for a ball gown. Um my boobs are out. <laughs> How are you feeling, Georgina? Obviously, because it's snug, my boobs yeah. are falling out. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Gina, but I'm glad that you, you tried it. Yeah, I'm really glad I tried it. We had high hopes for Kim, but they have been met with an anti-climax with her putting Georgina in a gown. The complete antithesis of the look she is dreaming of. This stylist needs to put her head in the game before she loses the plot completely. This super stylist might have lost the battle, but the war is yet to be won. This stunning is ticking all of the boxes, and both Georgina and Kim can see the finish line. I have to say, I really like this one. It's a little bit slinky. Do you know what? I just want these straps to be a bit tighter. Yeah. And do you feel it's bridal enough for you, darling? I actually really, really like it. I do like the simplicity of it mm -hmm. and the elegance of it. No? Personally, no. <laughs> No. I think it would be nice if it was more covered. I would cover the front. So we will get more coverage in the décolletage area. Yeah. It could work. It could work. <laughs> I didn't think I would like it, but I actually love it now. It's just so elegant. Are you saying yes to the dress? I am saying yes to the dress. Congratulations! It's amazing how much coverage a wispy veil can give, and this bride's beautiful curves are doing just the right amount of showing. Job well done indeed.